question is graph this. Graph this or graph it. Dear ladies, first part. Minus 12 on what is the it? solid line. We are talking about boundary or dashed line. Decide this. Solid or dash. What do you think? Dash. It is only dash because great. it's not an inequality. Greater, so boundary will be dashed line. Bravo. Boundary is dashed. Good. Secondly, what am I going to do, dear lady? Very Subtract easy. 12 on both the sides. Yeah, it will be. Easy way for the students. Think a bit. This is like an equation question. Like an equation question, okay? I'm not saying directly. This is not the equation question. I know. But think a bit. This is an equation question. So if this is an equation question, how can you rewrite this? You can write 12 minus x is equal to four times y and dividing by four gives us y equals three minus one over four x. So if I rewrite y is equal to negative one over four x plus three. Any question till here? Check it please. Do you have any question? No. 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 And then there are two cases here. The best one is when x is zero, what is y? Find this. So y is equal to instead Three. of x when I put zero, y we say here. So it will be negative one over four times zero plus three, which is zero. That means zero comma three. This is now y intercept y intercept this is now y intercept similarly when y is zero what is x let us find so zero equals negative one over four x plus three so if i take negative one over four x other side positive one over four x is equal three so to eliminate Four, if I multiply the both side, x equals three times four, which is 12. It means that x is 12, y is zero. There is no clear. Now, any question here? Yes, sir, the last part is not, is not, is not in the screen. Uh, you can't yeah. see. Okay, I can see, yeah. but you can't see. Lo okay, let me clean and do it. Let me clean and do it upper part. So first of all, Zero comma three y intercept. You see this? You can no. see, right? No. No, no. Even the third part, I mean x equals zero, what is why I said so y is equal to negative one over four. You can't see this? Yeah, it's not clear. Okay, let me even clean and do it. Okay, one minute. Let me use the, okay, here. Now, I am saying that this, this is my equation. This is my equation, which is y, one minute, okay. Y equals negative one over four x plus three. You see the result, okay? So how can I find X and Y intercept? So when X is zero, what is Y let's say? So what will be Y is equal to negative one over four times zero plus three. So Y is equal to zero plus three. Y is equal to three. So when X is zero, what is Y? Three. How we call this? We call this y intercept y intercept where the function cuts the y axis so to find the x intercept i will say when y is equal to zero what is x so in the function zero is equal to negative one over four x plus three and then if I multiply the both side by four or before multiplying, take this negative other side, positive one over four 
x is equal to three. And when we multiply four times one over four x, four times three, it will be x equals 12. So x is 12 when? When y is zero. So how we call this? This is x intercept. So we have x intercept, we have the y intercept. That means that we can draw the graph, isn't it? So everything is ready. I may even use the slope definition, rise over run, but I wanna use now intercepts, okay? So how can I draw? It's so simple. X, Y coordinate system, okay? And then when X is zero, Y is three. So let's say it is here, three. When X is 12, Y is zero, let's say it is here. It's not scaled, but it's clear. So to draw a line, what am I going to do? Just I will join these two things. So these two things I will join. Now, I did one mistake. What is the mistake here? I said at the beginning dash line, but I draw solid line. So I have to clean. I have to clean and draw again, but how like this now? The dot, 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 dot. Now, is it okay? Why this is dash line? Since the question is only greater. Till here, do you have any question, dear ladies? Till here, do you have any question? No. No. Now, this dash line divides the XY coordinate plane to half planes. One half plane is upper part of this dash line. The other is below, under the dash line. So one of them is solution. One of them is solution. Which one? We use very simple way, test point. Test point. What does it mean? It means this, dear ladies, for example, the easy thing for the easy calculation, let me take, this is my test point, test point, test point, which means it is zero comma zero. So I am saying that if this is solution, if I will shade this region, then it will be graph. 0, 0.0 is in this region in this half plane, is it true? Zero, zero, it's here. Yes. So if this is solution, it must satisfy the given question. What does it mean? Question is this. So I am writing 12 minus four times Y. What is Y? This, greater than or equal X. So 12 greater than zero, is it true or not? Tell me. True yes, or not? True. Yes, true. If yes, true, true, that means we are right. That means we shade the right region, correct region. So that's that's the graph finished. I mean, the graph is something like that. This is the answer of the question. We finished, okay? Now, imagine this is not satisfied. What am I going to do? I will clean this part. I will do something like that. For example, like this, okay? This will be solution. If it is not satisfied, but it is satisfied, that means this is the solution.